Unreal has a vast selection of assets. Now, using 3D Exchange, we can actually get these assets into the iClone software and do amazing things with them. So here we are inside of the Epic Games Launcher. You'll see that I have various versions of the Unreal Engine installed. And you'll also notice that if you go to the upper right corner, you can see all the versions you have installed as well. We're going to be using version 4.22. In a few seconds, the Unreal Engine will start and show you this project window. These are all the projects I'm currently using, but we want to make a new project. So we'll click on the New Project tab, we'll go to Blueprints, and we'll choose a third person. Now you need to choose the location on your hard drive, and you need a name for your project. I'm going to call this one UE4 underscore 3DX. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to take the standard Unreal Mannequin, which has a UE4 skeleton structure, and we're going to convert it so it's usable inside of iClone. The reason you would do this is to give yourself a character that has the same size and build while you animate with LiveLink. So when the editor opens, you're going to see the third person template scene. If you have plugins installed, you may see this Manage Plugins window. I'm just going to dismiss it. On the left side of your interface, you'll see this small icon here. It's a toggle that allows you to see your folder structure. Now, if we select the character in the game viewport, you're going to find out quickly that this is not actually the character. It's a instance with a blueprint. And this blueprint, of course, includes a camera that the player normally uses when they're playing the game. And now you can see the little mini viewport showing you the camera that's attached to the player. You can test the game by just going to the top of the interface and hitting play. At that point, you'll be able to run around and move with the mouse. And when you're finished, just hit escape to exit the game. Although playing the game can be fun, what we actually need is the skeletal mesh. So I'm just going to the content browser here. You're going to want to open the mannequin folder, then open the character folder, and inside of that there will be a mesh folder. And there you will find your skeletal mesh. You're going to want to right click on the asset with the pink stripe. That's the skeletal mesh. You're going to go to Asset Actions Export. Now we're going to want to choose a folder. And you want to make sure that under Save As Type, it says FBX. After you've chosen a folder, go ahead and hit Save. When the option panel appears, you'll see that I'm just using the default FBX 2013. Now I'm turning off Level of Detail and All Collision Meshes because they're not needed for the process. Then I'm going to hit Export. In the next video, we'll bring this into 3D Exchange and set it up for proper usage in iClone.